Hello, Michael here with a very quick Nuke tutorial on how to animate a rack focus. Um, so I have already set up a comp here in Nuke. Uh, if you don't know how to set up a Z depth pass and render it out from my check out my previous tutorials on that. Uh, but basically I've got 100 frames of animation here just seeing that uh, the grass is moving and what I want to do is create a rack focus um, which changes its focal depth from being in uh, focus in the foreground to being focused on our subject. Um, so basically how we're going to do that is we're going to key set animation using the ZD focus node. So select your ZD focus node and um, we'll switch the uh, output to be focal plane setup so we can make this a little bit easier. And then we're going to move our focal point to be in the foreground somewhere. Now I'm going to make it be on these very near pieces of grass. Um, and you may need to adjust your depth of field. I've got a 0.135, so if I make it bigger, more will be in focus, and smaller, less will be in focus. Um, yeah, I'll keep it at 1.3. Uh, so now this is our starting frame here. Make sure you've got the time slider to set to frame one and then uh, go to your focal focus plane which is what we're seeing at the moment in green and right click on that or sorry just click on that and click set key and you'll see that that now turns blue. Now we're going to shift to the last frame of our animation which is frame 100 and we're going to move the focal point to be on our subject and uh, because I've got auto keying enabled and because I've changed the focal point um, it's just keyed the um, it's keyed the final point. So anytime that you make a change uh, to the focal point, it's going to key it in again. And you can change this by going to the curve editor and you'll see that we've got uh, three nodes here, each uh, representing the, each keyframe. This one here I don't necessarily want, so I'm just going to delete that. Now um, if we jump back here for a moment and go to the output and look at the result, you'll see that the um, focal depth starts in the foreground on the grass and then finishes up on the robot in the background. And you can further adjust this um, if you want to say ease it in. So in the curve editor, if you select one of your key nodes, you can adjust the handles. Um, so now as I move this handle up, the curve is uh, smoothing itself out as it enters into the final frame. So that means that the um, that it will become in focus slower at the last point. Inversely, I could make it uh, the opposite of that, and it would become it would become gradually in focus and fo and then more in focus quicker towards the end. So um, maybe I'll do the gradually in. You can also hold down control and drag this out so you can get you know a, a longer uh, tail on it, or inversely, um, the opposite direction. So. Maybe something like that for this. Um, and also you can just uh, control alt click and add in new keys if you want. And if I change back to focal plane setup, um, you'll see that now the focal plane is going past our subject and then coming in from the back. Um, so here's a sort of a good way that you can, sort of, uh, this is a good place to sort of finesse where your um, focal plane is going to animate and how it's going to move within your shot. Uh, if you're familiar with animating in Maya, this should all pre be pretty straightforward. And then, yeah, once you're happy with that, you can just write out your animation as you normally would. Um, I'll just go back to results so you can see what's happening. So, yeah, that final frame there. And then in the middle, it's pretty much in focus. And then it should just gradually tidy up that last bit of focus there. Um, so I've already got a right node uh, in there. So I'm just going to write this out as a, a sequence. So what I've done is I'm, I'm going to create a PNG sequence and it's going to be called Rack Focus. And I'm going to create frame padding for each frame. So if you've got 100 frames, uh, you'll want to have frame padding of three. So you, you put in three hashes for that and that will just help it name it correctly. Um, Commonly, you'll just put in four. Um, it's very unlikely that you'll ever go over four frame padding, which would be over 9,999 uh, 9 frames. And then just your file type. So I'm going to do this as a uh, PNG. And then once you're happy with that, click render and render it out. Okay, I'm in Photoshop. I'm just going to open up that sequence now. So just file open, navigate to your sequence, select your first frame and click image sequence. And now if I play through that, you'll see that 
we've got our rack focus moving from the foreground to the background or to the midground, which can be a nice uh, nice way to sort of zhuzh up your um, shots. And it's very simple. So yeah, I uh, hope that was very easy to follow for you all out there. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, and if you liked this video, make sure you click the like button so other people can find it on YouTube. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as I do a couple of tutorials every week for a CG product such as Nuke, which is sort of new to the channel, um, and other ones such as my Render Man and Redshift and a few others. Uh, also, if you want to stay up to date, check out the Facebook page, link in the description. That's it for this one though. Thank you very much for watching and happy nu nuking. Happy... Yeah, I'm going to have to work on that one.